Harry empty-handed after the publisher's first shot. 93% of readers say no to memoirs. Hello friends, welcome to the breaking news of the hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. When Harry's long-awaited book is released on January 10th, the great majority of readers of express.co.uk, according to a new survey, have no plans to read it. According to a recent poll, the majority of express.co.uk readers will not be reading Prince Harry's memoir, Spare. Last Thursday, Penguin Random House provided further information about the much-awaited book and revealed that it would be published on January 10, 2023. On Thursday, October 27th, the information was made public, along with the debut of a new website. Harry's tenure in the royal family, from his early years and the passing of his mother, through his choice to quit the firm two years ago, will be covered in the book. Publisher's Statement The world watched in sorrow and horror as two little boys, two princes, walked behind their mother's coffin. It was one of the most heartbreaking pictures of the 20th century. Many people questioned what the princes must have been thinking and feeling as Diana, Princess of Wales, was laid to rest, as well as how their lives would go after that. Spare is a historic book filled with insight, revelation, self-examination, and hard-won knowledge about the enduring power of love over sadness. For Harry, this is his tale at last, with its frank, uncompromising honesty. Express.co.uk polled its readers between noon on Friday, October 27th and 7.30 a.m. on Tuesday, November 1st. Will you read the book by Prince Harry? There were a total of 24,164 votes cast, with 93%, 22,553 voters voting no to reading Harry's book, while 5%, 1,287 respondents, indicated that they would read his autobiography. 1%, 324 respondents, indicated that they were unsure. Thousands of comments were submitted underneath the related article by readers discussing spare. One reader, Hopeful56, wrote, no, I won't read this book, and to be completely honest, I have no idea why anyone would. Others shared this opinion, with user Janet posting, I don't want to throw away the cash I've worked so hard for. Cynical Old Possum is my username said, It would be far more entertaining to watch paint dry. While making a statement, Maud said, Even if someone paid me to do so, I would not read the book. While some said they had no desire to believe Harry's narrative, Lynn007 made the following observation, not even worth 10 pence. I won't be reading this so-called memoir, the user with the username Guin Tai stated. I'm tired of hearing about it since I've heard enough. Another commenter with the pseudonym Betty asked, why would anyone buy the book when the media would have all the exciting details? Additionally, purchasing the book would financially support Harry in a way that I do not desire. Additionally, under the moniker Chico Tina, the author stated, As an American, I read a ton of books about the royal family, largely history-related books, but also a few about the present situation of the family, since I find it all to be incredibly intriguing, because there is nothing comparable in the U.S., Having said that, I won't be reading Spare, since I declined to read Finding Freedom. Spare will be published in 16 different languages and will sell for £28 in hardback. The audiobook's narration will likewise be done by Harry. A portion of the book's sales revenues will be given to charitable organizations, like Santa Bale and Well Child. Cameron Walker, a royal reporter for GB News, asserted last week that the degree of demand for Harry's book may cause it to become an immediate bestseller. Penguin Random House's CEO, Marcus Doley, stated, They were privileged to share Prince Harry's open and moving narrative with people all across the world. His personal account of his recovery from trauma speaks to the healing power of love and will uplift and inspire countless others across the world. 
The royal audience sneered at the title of this memoir. One person frankly said, If this book is a bestseller, it's purely because they've spent half of the advance on buying them, much like that rubbish about a seat. They had a pile of them in their house or on her desk or somewhere. Everything they do or say is fake or a lie. Disgusting narcissistic pair. Seriously, no one is going to believe Harry. He has told so many lies. Meghan apparently has written half of it. According to an interview Tom Bauer gave the other day, Meghan lied 17 times during the Oprah interview. All of Harry's rambling interviews over three years have done his character no favors at all in the eyes of the public. Why would anyone want to line the pockets of these two grifters when the media and internet will be telling all the best bits for free within minutes of it going on sale? Hopefully, the publishers will make a huge loss as a lesson to others to avoid these two like the plague. All their actions when successful are claimed by them, but as soon as something goes wrong, it's nothing to do with them. Then they become the victims. The docu-series coming out has been directed by Liz Garbett. It's already seen Methane distancing herself by saying it was seen through the lens of the director. Regardless of all the original footage being directed by Meghan and Harry, it still has nothing to do with them because they are victims. One spectator commented, I just googled Harry's book and was surprised to discover there are a number of biographies already attributed to him. Haven't looked closer, but if any of them were written in recent years, then it begs the question, what do you intend to say that hasn't appeared in previous literary offerings? I mean, I think we know the answer to that, but if all he's got is dirt to the dish and repeat everything else he's already done many times before, walking behind his mom's coffin, etc., then it won't be too difficult to demonstrate that this book has nothing to do with anything other than Harry having a go at his family for profit. It'll also be interesting to see if he revises his own history, wonder if he's even considered the contents of his previous biographies. In short, experts assert that Harry will face a bomb in the future and Penguin Random House will be the one to punish him. If Spare is a bestseller, it will have cost the couple a great deal of money to get it on a bestseller list. They purchased 2,000 copies of The Bench via Archwell and gave the copies to schools and libraries, making it a donation, which fed in part of their legal requirement to donate 5% of Archwell's annual profit to charity, which saves them tax. The Bench was released in a subsection of children's books. It was the only new book that week, with no competition. And because they bought so many copies, it made the New York Times bestseller list. We can expect more of the same, with Spare, and saying that it's make me wonder why Santa Bali got such a big donation from Harry. What do you think about Harry's memoir? Are you willing to spend money to buy it? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos.